Hi, my name is Dan Dorenzo. In this segment of the Chain Mints, we're going to deal with firefighters that are trapped in below grade situations. There are numerous ways we can go down and get after these firefighters. The first things we need to do in these rescues are determine that there's no other access issues we can tend to to get into these firefighters, i.e. exterior windows, grade level doorways, or the interior stairs. If it is determined that we have to go from above, that is a last resort effort. It's extremely dangerous to send a firefighter from above grade down to a below grade situation. What we're going to do here is discuss two techniques that integrate the personal harness into techniques that have been involved with for firefighter rescue removals via subfloor. The first one is going to be utilizing a butt of the rope and compensate it to the firefighter secondary attachment point. It takes the middle of the rope, runs it through. At this point, notice how the firefighter is sitting between the two corners. That way it allows them to get lifted up and into the hole. The other two firefighters will lower him down. Once the firefighter has gotten down to the ground, the firefighters will then take the two ropes and separate them to four pull lines. At that point, we're now going to break up the weight from two to four and distribute it amongst our rescuers. The one thing we've got to be careful of on the upper floor here is the stability. We run the risk of possible secondary collapse or weak floors, so if need be, we can stabilize it with interior doors or something to distribute the weight. We'll now go down below to see how the rescuer transitions from his lower line to the down firefighter. Now our rescuer has been lowered down into the basement level. He's now going to locate the down firefighter, drags him to the floor where he's lowered, and prepares him for the removal. The whole time, leaving his lower lines attached him to the last minute. In the case something goes wrong and he needs to be removed from the situation, he's already hooked up. The rescue firefighter is going to create the secondary attachment point on the down firefighter, utilizing the personal harness. Once he's ready, he's going to remove it from his lower system to the down firefighters. Ensuring that the coat is closed to keep it in line, he centers the firefighter on the hull. Once the firefighter is centered on the hull, he will communicate with his rescuers above, either verbally or by the rope. And he will assist them with the removal. Once this firefighter is removed, they'll send the lines back. The firefighter will hook himself up and he will then be removed from the situation. Once the packaging is complete below, the rescue firefighter from below will tug on the line to indicate that he's ready for the removal. The second technique for removing a firefighter from subfloor situations is going to be utilizing the handcuff knot. We're going to utilize the handcuff knot removal method that's been used previously, but this time, once again, we're going to incorporate the personal harness. Handcuff knot removal can also be done with a figure eight on a bite, but by using the handcuff knot maneuver, if it provides us with a second plan. If our first initial plan is not working, we can revert back to our handcuff knot on the legs and the arms to streamline the firefighter and remove him. Once again, this also is going to provide us with four lines to pull from. Using two different color ropes is key here because it allows us to distinguish between the lower half and the upper half of the down firefighter, as well as aids in communication. We attach the carabiners on them, one, to, give, to keep the loops together, and two, to add weight, so that way when we drop it down, we can attach it to the firefighters. The first set of handcuff knots it's just going to go to the down firefighter as so. It can go across through the loops or this is fire service rope rescue. It can go right to the pump here hook. The second set is going to go to him as well. He's created himself with the secondary attachment point. This is just for lowering. When we get downstairs, you'll see how we hook up the firefighter for the raise. Once, the, once everything's attached, the same as the previous method, the firefighter is going to lower the rescuer in. Now, once the firefighter has gotten to the floor, the firefighters are going to split the ropes so you have four ropes to pull from. 
Now that we've lowered the rescuer down to the subfloor, he's going to locate his firefighter. Once again, locating the firefighter, he's going to go ahead and package him for his removal. We'll drag him to the hole where he's left and get him packaged for his removal. Leaving the ropes that he was lowered on attached at all times. Once he has the firefighter packaged, he'll remove the handcuff knots. At this point, he's now going to take the handcuff knot and attach it to the pompier hook that's ran up through the coat. At this point, we now have two lines already attached to the upper half of the firefighter. Now, the difference is we're going to take our next line and we're going to go to the rear, locating the waist strap of the personal harness, attaching it to the rear. We now have one line in the front, one line to the rear. So when we remove our firefighter, it will come out up and down. Once he's set for removal, he'll locate him on the center on the hole. He'll communicate either verbally or via the rope. Ready? Yes. Hole. The rest here below will help to keep the firefighter in line. But notice by us attaching that carabiner to the lower extremities of the firefighter that once we clear the level of the floor system we now have an attachment point that's located lower on the torso area so we can pop that firefighter out of that hole. Now that the firefighter is prepared below for removal, once again the rescue firefighter from below will communicate with the firefighters above by tagging on the line. Notice how the lower end is left down low, so when the bottom half of that firefighter is still hanging in the hole, he has the ability to up and lift the firefighters out. There is no right or wrong way to respond to a firefighter emergency requiring subfloor removal. Hopefully we provided you with a couple of options to use if ever encountered that situation. I'd like to thank Lowe for our sponsorship and thank you for watching today. Stay safe.